video so we're gonna do two crazy insane <laughs> Megan is back with me Hi. by popular demand you guys have no idea how much this cost me stop <sighs> requesting it <laughs> well we are gonna take a look at tower this is actually going to be coming up on Kickstarter very soon I want to say February 17th will be the launch date and uh, this is going to be from Ben Haskett from Undying Games. And we are going to show you the components and then show you some gameplay. And then we'll come back and give you our final thoughts. What do you think? Sounds good. All right. See you in a minute. All right. We're going to show you some components for Tower. So, again, prototype components. Uh, final components will be different. But you will get basically uh, your worker that you'll put on the board. Show where you're buying in the marketplace. And then sticking with green, you will get three tower pieces for building your tower. We get a bunch of lovely gems. That will go in our cool Koloth bag. There's a build deck. This is going to tell you how you're going to build your tower, what you need to build your tower pieces. So you'll see there's five symbols on each of the cards. That tells you what you need to collect to be able to successfully build one piece of your tower. So you'll get one of these every time you complete a piece you'll get another one to move on to your next tower piece we also have a black market deck so these are going to give you some special abilities throughout the game and what we have down below here is the cost in gems uh, so if you have one black gem you get a black market otherwise it'll cost you six green or four blue or two red. And again, these are all various special abilities that you can use in the game. Uh, it'll be things like you can play on a place where another opponent is, you can steal a resource from an opponent, there's a wild for a resource, uh, all kinds of little different things that you can use in the game. And we get a bunch of building materials. So these are the materials that you're collecting to build your tower piece. So Leo will set off to the side there, the tax collector, and basically you are going to be able to use him to trade in gems for other types of gems. And this is just a palace tile where we're kind of collecting. This shows where the tower is getting built. And then there are various marketplace tiles so the marketplace tiles basically tell you by the color there uh, which building material will be there so here we're looking at wood water and clay clay or brick and then below each one it tells you what the cost is so in order to get this piece of wood here uh, you need one blue and three green gems so these are all a little bit different and that tells you how to buy your materials. And of course, you get a nice rule book with some great examples and images. So those are the components for Tower. And again, this is prototype components. So check out the Kickstarter and that will show you what the proposed end game will look like. And now we will show you some gameplay. Alright, we have the game set up for two players. So 
It goes up to four players, and there are symbols on things that need to be taken out or included depending on the number of players you have, so those are off to the side. This is a two-player game setup. All the materials are already out. Again, each spot kind of shows you what it's going to cost you to uh, grab that material. So we're going to go through, and we will walk you through gameplay. You want to start first? You want me to start first? Go for it. All right. So the first thing you always do on your turn is you randomly get three gems. So you go in the bag, and let's see, I'm getting a uh, green, a red, and another red to start me out. So uh, just real quick, if I don't do anything else right now, I can get two more gems out of this bag. But if I take some sort of action, uh, I cannot get two more gems out of this bag. So what kind of actions can I take? Uh, I can do any of the following in the action phase, uh, and I can do all of it, and I can do it in any order I want. I can find a marketplace square, put my guy on it, and buy anything I can afford off of that tile. I can't jump around to multiple tiles, but I can buy anything I want that's on a single tile. I could go to Salil, uh, which first round makes no sense. But, well, actually, that doesn't go there. You, Salil is going to be basically the collector of all the payments. So all the gems are going to start collecting up next to Salil. Uh, what, so what I could potentially do is look at his chart here. Uh, I can turn in three green, two blue, or one red for one gem of my choice that he's got collected here. Or I can turn in one of my black gems for any two. The only gems you can never pull away from Salil are the black gems. Uh, they just stay here until the bag empties, and then everything uh, that Salil has collected goes in the bag. Um, so you can basically kind of mix and match gems out of here if you need a certain type of gem. Uh, the other thing that I can do is I can go into the black market and or play as many black market cards as I want. Now you can only have three black market cards at any given time, but... When you go into the black market, you're going to draw three cards and keep as many as you've paid for up front. And again, the, the payments are listed on here and you can mix and match, but you have to do that before you draw and look at the three cards. So if I had three black gems, I could say, I'm putting in three black gems, I'm going to keep all three cards. Otherwise, you look at the three, you uh, keep whichever ones you've paid for, whichever ones you want to keep that you've paid for, and then you put the rest back on top in any order you want. So those are the three things I can do in an action phase. And let's see, for my action phase, I suppose I should look at what my build is. What am I trying to collect? Again, you get a build card. This tells you what you're trying to collect to build your first piece of the tower. You're trying to be the first player to get all three pieces of your tower into the palace. I will just say, I will go ahead and go here, and there is an inexpensive red-green piece of wheat there. So Salil gets my red and green, I get the wheat. Now, in the base game, we should probably point out, you can't buy things that you can't use for your tower. There is a variant that you can kind of play a little more cutthroat, but uh, in the base game, you only buy what you're uh, able to. And actually, in, oh, those, uh, in a 3-4 player game, these are face up. In a 2 player game, you keep your build cards face down. I've grabbed wheat. I can't afford anything else off of there. Uh, going into my build phase, well, I can't build. I'm not ready to build. So that's the end of my turn. Goes to Megan. Blue and two green. I think I'm going to just pull two more gems and call it a day. All right. So it comes back to me. <clears throat> Get a blue, a red, and another red. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is Salil allows me to trade in one red for one of anything else. I'm going to trade in for a green. And then I'm going to keep my guy here. 
and buy another wheat for one red, one blue, one green. Should also point out that if you don't buy anything in the marketplace, uh, your guy comes off. Because as long as I'm here, Megan can't go here unless she has a black market card that says she's allowed to. So she can't buy any of the wheat on here as long as I'm sitting there. Still can't build, so it goes over to Megan now. So I draw three. Got two green and a blue. So she's collecting up quite a gem collection there. Yeah. Of two colors. <laughs> I am going to go into this market and I will spend three blue for a brick. Get yourself some brick. You can't build. Green, blue, and blue. I'm going to go down here and go red, blue, blue for this piece of wood. And I still can't build yet because you need five materials to build your first piece of tower. Okay. Oh, black gem. I know. I am going to jump ship and go over here and play a red, a blue, and three green. Let's get another brick. Or another brick. Nice. Still can't build. Are you going to do anything else? Black market? No, I'm good. Alright. Red. Blue. And green. Red, blue, and green. What does that buy me? Absolutely nothing. I think at this point I'm going to take me two more gems. So I get a green and another green. A green flush. So I get three. A red, a red, and a green. I'm going to trade in black for a blue. Actually, I think two blue. And then I will do a blue and three green for the wood. All right. Black market or anything like that? Are you supposed to remove your guy? No, didn't I buy, no yeah. I didn't buy anything that last time. Okay. Black market at all? No, I'm good. All right. Blue. Blue and green. I think for now I'm just gonna go ahead and grab two more. Blue and blue. Whole lot of blue. So I need three. Red, black, green. I'm going to move there. Okay, two red wood. Nice. Still no black market. More blue. Hey, a little bit of splash of red. And a green. Can't see a black gem to save my life. I think I'm gonna go here. Two red, blue, and a green for that. Can I get to? See, I think. Huh? Two. Oh, blue and a green. Yeah. I think. Alright, I'm going to do those four. So that's two for a red and two for a red. And I'm going to buy both of those. So red, blue, green for the water. Two red and a blue for the brick. And so that takes me to my build phase where I can build my first tower. So 
So I put the tower piece on the palace. These go back on here. I get to determine where they go if there's uh, more plus. So like the wheat, there's only two spots for it. That's going to go back there. The water, there's only one spot for it. That has to go back there. Wood, uh, I can put it on either of these three locations. I'll just kind of say, hey, you know, here, let's make, let's make wood expensive for a while. And the brick, there's three locations open for the brick. Oh, what the heck, let's just go up here for the brick as well. This, my build card gets discarded, and then I get the next three. I choose one of these and discard the other one. So this will be what I need for my next piece of the tower. And I will say, I'm gonna go nuts. I'm gonna go a little crazy. Yeah, I'll do that. And those two get discarded. Mega Cern. I get to pick three gems. Now I move there and do the red and the three blue for the water. And then I can build. Yay. Yay. And I go on top of him. Discard that. Put the water back. Yep. Let's see what you're doing that. I get hey green. <laughs> Blue and a red. A little bit of everything. Um I'll go up here. Let's see. I do the I do the red, green, blue. And the green, green, green. And I'll take both of these guys. And then uh, that'll be me because I'm not going to, I can't build and I'm not going to go to the black market. Three. Hmm? One, two, and three. Look at you with all the black gems. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Let me move over here. Change the black for two red, and I will exchange a black for two blue, and then I will do two red and a blue for this brick, and three blue for this brick, and that's the end of my dirt. All right. What can I get? What can I get? Green. Oh, black jam, black jam. And black jam, black jam. I'm going to trade one in for, I'm going to say two red, since I can't seem to get any red. I'm going to take the red and the green and purchase this guy. So that means they did something there. And I am going to go and buy one card from the black market. So I draw three, I check them out, and then... Wow. I like all of these. I need more. I don't care. still like it. I'm going to do that. Put those back. Alright, so now I have a nice card here. And you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead, since I'm still kind of doing black market stuff, I'm going to play my card right away. If that's okay with you. If you don't mind. Uh, it's going to... So, uh, I paid to access the black market, but to actually use the black market card, there's a cost at the bottom. And that's just a number of gems. So I've got three gems. This one's cost three gems. I'm going to go ahead and use it. But I get to steal one resource from any market, even if it is occupied by another player. I'll take that. Not cool, King. And then that gets discarded. So I pick three gems. So not bad. Cost me three gems for something that cost four gems. And I get to choose what they were. I can't play, so I'm going to take my guy off and pick two more gems. 
Red, green, and green. I'm gonna hang out for two more gems as well. So my guy will come off. I got another red and a green. I get <clears throat> three gems. And three. Well, you got a nice little collection going on there. I know. Okay, I think I'm going to exchange two blue for red, and then I will go to there, pay two red for the wood, and I'm done. All right, you want a black market? No. <laughs> red, green, and... Another green. All right. I think I'm going to go to Salil, give him one red for one blue. And then I'm going to go here. I go red, blue, three green for the brick I need. Which then takes me into my build phase, which is exactly what I need for my second piece. Discard that. All the wheat comes back, the water comes back, and the brick will go, well, let's put the brick down here for now. And then I draw three, and uh, let's try that this time. Okay, so I get to draw three gems. As you see, Salil's kind of collecting up some a nice pile of gems there. I'm going to go to the wheat. There's plenty of it. I need plenty. <laughs> I'm going to do three for one, the red and green for the second one. Nice. And then I get spilled. Yeah, you do. So what? what? Oh, oh auto lose. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Okay, that goes there, the wheat goes back, the bricks go back, there's that, and let's see here. Green, blue, and red. Green, blue, and red. Uh, I think I'm going to travel down this way. Go ahead and grab this brick. And that's me. Okay, so I need three. One, two, three. I'm going to get two blue for red. So I will do this wheat and then this wheat. Okay. I'm good. All right. See what I can pull out of the magic bag of gems. Green, red, and blue. Guess I'll travel up this way. Trade everything in for that brick. to trade in my black for a red and a blue. I'll go here and do three blue for the brick. Anything else? No. Nope. All right. Green. Green. And red. Turn that in for a green. Pop over here. I'm just kind of jet setting. Yeah, you are. 
One, two, three. I'm going to hop over here and do the three green and the blue for the wood. We're getting light. Yeah. Black. Green and green. I kind of want to do something else, but I'm not going to. Trade in my black for two red. Come down here, trade in my two red for the wood. Black. It's late game. Blue. <laughs> By getting her three pieces on the tower first. What I so wanted to go back to the black market. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That is how you play tower. All right. So that was tower. And what did you think? I liked it. I liked it better the second time we played it. <laughs> because you won the second time. <laughs> well, that is true. <laughs> Yeah, I, I really like this one. I think uh, Ben's done a great job with this. Uh, the one thing we haven't gotten a chance to play is play three or four players. But I even know, like, after our first game, Meg was like, I really want to try this with more people. So uh, it, I think it scales well. He did a real good job with the scaling of it. So it does scale well. Uh, and the, the fact that you grab your build cards... And so you never know exactly what you're going to be trying to build. Uh, the buying of the components, uh, the fact that your gems are kind of random, randomized as you pull them out of the bag and you got to kind of plan for that. But you have a way to kind of switch up gems if you need to. And the fact that the black market cards can assist with all of those things as well to get you the materials you need to build your towers. Uh, I really like all of those aspects that makes it feel a little bit different each time you play it. Uh, one of the nice things, I, I've seen the Kickstarter preview page, and one of the nice things that I, I like about that is uh, I had been thinking that it would be nice, because I'm, I'm kind of in this modular board kind of area lately that's really nice if the board can always be changing. Uh, and since the... The, the market tiles as they come, they don't change, right? They're always the same price. Uh, one of the add-on packs that you can get for uh, just a little bit of, of extra cash, not much, is uh, like counters to put over the marketplace so that you can randomize which materials are going to be there for that cost. That was the one thing every time I kept kind of playing it, just kind of going, it'd be cool if he could figure out how to do that piece. And, of course, I pull up the preview page. He's got it on there. So it, for that aspect, too, I mean, already as it sits, without even adding that, this, this game isn't the same every time you play it. So that's nice. Uh, in fact, when we were uh, playing here for the video, I saw a couple black market cards I hadn't seen before. And I was like, oh, those, I, I want those. Uh, but I never went back in and got them. Uh, so there's a lot of replayability in the game without that add-on pack, but I think that's just that nice extra little twist that I think is pretty cool. Uh, what do you think? Is this a uh, fairly casual player friendly? Fairly. I think so. It's a, it's a good starter resource strategy game, I think, for a casual player, and it goes fairly quickly, which I always appreciate. <laughs> um, I also like the constant change of the strategy, even from choosing your build cards to the next build card. I like that that changes. Um, I like the fact when you play a two-player player game that you hide your build card. I know the first time we played that, we didn't do that. And I think I was more concerned trying to figure out ways to stop him <laughs> than it was to actually look at what I need to do to build. So 
that yeah. helped. Yeah, I think this is definitely, I, I will uh, place this solid, solidly in the gateway game category. Uh, this is one that I see no problem adding to the collection to take to say like a convention or a game day and uh, teaching new people. Uh, and our dog is about to completely wreck <laughs> our setup. We, uh, <sighs> this is our other dog. Um, so it, it does play quick. Uh, the reference cards are in here. You know the actions that you get to take. The actions are pretty straightforward. Uh, there's really not too much to kind of contemplate other than uh, do I need to change gems in? Can I hit the black market? Uh, you didn't really see it much in this game, in this uh, game, but uh, it's never a bad idea to hit the black market. <laughs> The, the, the last two games I played prior to this, uh, the black market cards were very crucial in helping me get that final win. I should have hit the black market a little bit more probably than I did this game. Uh, so definitely uh, there's some really good cards in there that can help you out. So it's again, it's one of those things you just kind of go, do I go for the materials I know I need? And some of those materials are going to get tight because are they going for the same things? Uh, or do I take another turn or two to maybe grab some black market cards so all of that stuff uh, together just makes for a really nice solid uh, easy to teach easy to learn game so uh, I would definitely say if you get the chance check out tower when it hits Kickstarter like I said February 17th uh, and check out that add-on pack because I think it's uh, also something that's going to be really nice and, and help add some replayability to a game that's already very replayable all right, there you go. That is our thoughts on Tower.